Okay, we're going to take a look today <coughs> at uh, Cripple Creek. And you're going to use three different uh, techniques in this. One is the slide, which we've already used. You're going to start on the second fret of the first string with your pinky finger. You're going to pick that note and slide all the way to the fifth fret. There's another place where you're going to slide on the third string at the second fret to the fourth string. And it's important that you start with a good finger placement up close to the fret and you slide directly to good finger placement next to the fret. We're also going to use a hammer on and in this particular hammer on the first part of the note and the hammered note need to be of equal value in other words it's not now that's a valid hammer but it's a it's a different phrasing what we want is we want them to be of equal value so it's like this one and two So they're both eighth notes and they share the same beat. So you're going to pick the note, then you're going to slam your finger down on the string close to the fret. And you could actually practice that like on the fourth string and the third string. string, not in this song, but you could so it's it's both of equal value. And then we have a pull off. And that starts with the finger firmly planted on the fingerboard and you pull the finger off but you gotta pull it off in such a way that you give up a little bit of skin. In other words, the skin on your finger kind of hooks the string in such a way that you give it a flick. Right there, you're gonna be on the second fret of the third string. You're gonna pick that note, and then you're gonna pull it off. You don't just pick it up you pick it up and that note is, is uh, it's so soft you can't even hear it. You're going to pick the note and then you're going to get just a little bit of the skin underneath the string and pull it off like you're trying to rake something off the end of your finger like you got some, some glue on it or something and you're trying to rake it off on the string. So in Cripple Creek, you start on the first string, second fret, you pick and slide to the fifth fret, and then you brush by. Then you pick the first string, second string, then you go to a C chord, and you pick the second string, the first string, and then back to an open first string and brush by. So let me do, let me do that again. From the second fret on the first string, pick and slide to the fifth, brush pop, open on the first, open on the second, go to a C chord and play two, one, open on the first, brush pop, then you're going to pick and slide, pick the third string, fret it at the second fret, and slide to the fourth fret, and brush pop, then go back to the second fret, pick and pull, brush pop, then pick and hammer the fourth string at the second fret, and brush pop, and pick the third string open, and brush pop. So when I put all that together, then you play it again, because it's like most of these old time tunes, you have 
uh, an A part and a B part, and you play each part twice. So we repeat the first part. <laughs> business it's tricky business so don't let it frustrate you take your time work on the hammer on isolate it work on it by itself work on the pull off when you get it to where it sounds pretty good try brush popping afterwards all right then the second half um, is can, is uh, just like a piece of the first half. In the second half, you're going to fret the third string at the second fret, pick and slide to the fourth fret, and then brush pop. Then go back to the second and pick and pull, and brush pop. Then pick and slide. Then pick the fourth string open. And do it again. Fret the third string at the second fret, pick and slide to the fourth, brush pop, pick and pull off the second fret on the third string, brush pop, and pick and hammer the fourth string at the second fret, and brush pop, and open on the third. Brush pop. So the second half. season the music so that everything doesn't come out sounding every note doesn't come out sounding exactly the same plus it's a way that we accomplish getting more than one note for our money in other words you pick one note and I just got two notes I pick one note and I just got two notes I pick one note and I got two notes out of the deal. So it's a kind of helps with a uh, make it more cost effective, you might say. All right, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, finish processing this video, then I'll send it up to the Dropbox and then send you a link and then you let me know uh, if you got it or if you're having trouble getting it.